Hey, fifth graders. Okay, so uh, obviously kind of a weird angle here. Um, I was trying to make it so that the, um, the glare from the uh, uh, lights is not making it so you can't read the words. Um, so this is going to be chapter 10, and I'm actually going to cover several lessons at once because it's all kind of the same idea. Um, in your chapter 10 workbooks, which uh, hopefully your parents picked up um, whenever it was that they could pick those up, uh, hopefully you saw inside those chapter 10 workbooks that there is um, conversion charts for how to convert between units, because that's what this chapter is all about, is converting from units. Uh, so the first couple of lessons are about what we call customary units. Um, basically, it's the... Uh, the units that the United States uses, um, and pretty much nobody else does. Uh, it's, I hate to say it, but it's a stupid system of measurement. Um, I don't know where it all came from. I think supposedly originally it was like something about the measurement of the king's foot for length. Uh, where the other ones came from, I don't know. Um, the metric system makes so much more sense. I, someday the United States is going to be dragged kicking and screaming into the metric system, whether we like it or not. Uh, if you go into the sciences, you'll have to do the metric system anyway. So uh, science and a lot of engineering stuff, um, it just is what it is. Um, but yeah, so we'll get there eventually. But for now, let's just talk about these, these three kind of you guys are used to. So for length, the, uh, the four um, units that we deal with are inch, foot, yard, and mile. And... We kind of talked about this in class forever ago, back when we actually had class. Uh, but to go from inches to feet, right, you're going to go 12 inches equals one foot. And from feet to yards, we have three feet is equal to one yard. And from yards to miles, it's 2,000. Uh, is it 2,000? No, that's not right. One second. Oh, yeah, almost 2,000, not quite. This is where it gets super crazy. It's uh, 1,760 yards is equal to one mile. MI is the abbreviation for mile. Hopefully you guys can read that um, as it runs into everybody's name over here. Uh, yeah, so basically uh, in this chapter, the first chapter, this is... Uh, this is 10.1, this is 10.2, and this is 10.3. So in the first chapter, the first lesson for uh, chapter 10, uh, deals with length. And you'll be converting between inches to feet, feet to yards, yards to miles. Uh, you might even do things like from feet to miles, um, which is just going to be 1,760 times 3 um, gives you how many feet are in a mile. I think I actually just put it on the conversion chart for you. Um, also, the book has a, has a chart that you can use as well. Um, but yeah, so it might give you something like uh, if you have, um, I don't know, say four yards equals how many feet? All right. So to go from yards to feet, we're going to have to multiply the number of yards times three. Now, Obviously, we're going to either be multiplying or dividing, depending on which way we go. And sometimes it's easy to get confused, but you have to think about it this way. Yards are bigger than feet, right? It takes several feet to make a mile, or to make up a yard. So if you um, are converting from yards into feet, should the number be bigger or smaller? Now, the unit is smaller, right? Feet are smaller than yards, but that means actually that the number is bigger because it takes three feet to equal one yard. So if we're going four yards and there's three feet per yard, then that's going to be four times three equals 12 feet. So our answer here is going to be 12, right? Now let's say that we have, um, something like, uh, you've got, let's say we have four, um, now yeah, we used four last time. Let's do, I don't know, we'll do a bigger number. 25 inches equals how many feet? Okay. 
Now here, we're going from a small thing, inches, into a bigger thing, feet. So again, you might be tempted to say like, oh, well, feet are bigger, so I need to multiply, because multiply means get bigger. But because this is like taking a whole bunch of little things and stacking them together to make a big thing, right? So if you have a whole bunch of little things, you only have one of those big things. So here, we're actually going to divide. So it's going to be 25 divided by 12 equals what? Well, I'll go ahead here. Probably most of you guys can do this in your head, but I'll just show you. All right, 12 doesn't go into 2, but it does go into 25. It goes in 2 times. So we have 2 times 12 equals 24, and we subtract, and we have 1 left over. Now, you cannot say that you have 2 with a remainder of 1 feet. Okay, don't do that. That's, that's not correct. So instead, what we have here is we have two feet, and then what is that one that's left over, what is that? Well, that's one inch, right? Because two feet is equal to 24 inches, and we have one inch left over. So what we have here is we have 25 feet, and we have one inch. All right, I think that's just about the most confusing thing on there. Um, obviously, I think for the most part, they don't give you, like, you have so many miles, how many you know feet is that, or anything like that. Um, though they might say that you have some number of feet and uh, how many miles is that, that's possible. Um, anyway, basically you're just going to always be either multiplying or dividing by your uh, conversion factors here. Um, they won't call them conversion factors, but that's what they are. All right, so that's length. Uh, let's talk about capacity, which is basically volume, except for, for whatever reason we've decided that we want to make sure that the the words that we use are different when we're talking metric system versus um, versus customary system. I'm sure there's an actual valid reason for it, but I don't know what that reason is. So capacity, we deal in fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Uh, these things you mostly see when you're dealing with cooking nowadays. Um, so there are, to go from fluid ounces to a cup, there's eight fluid ounces, F-L-O-Z equals one cup. Oops just C is equal to cup. Uh, cups to pints is four cups equals one pint. And then weirdly from pints to quarts is actually two pints equals one quart. And then from quarts to gallons is quart, kind of sounds a little bit like quarter. Uh, so this is four quarts equals one gallon. Okay, so again, this is just how you convert between them. Um, so kind of like before, it's going to give you, you know, here's this thing, how many, um, you know, here's, you have, uh, I don't know, say 42 fluid ounces, how many cups do you have? And so you'll just say, okay, well, I've got 42. And that's going to equal some number of cups. And you're just going to divide 42 divided by 8 which is going to equal, oh, eh, just kidding. Uh, let's say 48, just because it works out pretty. Otherwise, we're going to have a mess. So we've got 48 fluid ounces. 48 divided by 8 gives you 6, so you have 6 cups. Um, yeah, on the, uh, again, it's just going to kind of always be the same thing. Uh, you might always, of course, have something like, um, you know, you have, uh, say, this one I think actually does more of um, converting, like making jumps here. So you might say that you have, uh, let's use a different color here. Uh, you might have, say, I don't know, like uh, 20 pints, and that equals how many, um, let's go gallons. That'll be fun. All right, 20 pints equals how many gallons? Well, we don't actually have a straight from pints to gallons conversion, right? So what we could do is take a middle step here. 20 pints is equal to how many quarts? Well, we know that there's two pints per quart. So 20 pints, you need to do 20 divided by two, and that's going to be 10 quarts, okay? And then from quarts, we could say, okay, well, we have 10 quarts. To go to gallons, we're gonna divide by four, so this is going to be 10 divided by 4, which is going to be 2 with a remainder of 2. 
terrible. The remainder of two. So that means that we have two gallons and we have two quarts left over. Or you could also maybe even just say uh, 2.5 or two and one half gallons. All right, so this is gonna be two, we'll just say 0.5 gallons. Okay, fairly straightforward. Um, again, this is probably, the capacity one is probably the hardest um, just, just because it's a lot of, there's a lot more things to it and there are things that you guys don't use a ton of. Uh, let's talk about weight for our last one. Now here we have ounces, pounds, and tons. Okay, so to go from ounces to pounds, it's actually 16 ounces is equal to one, uh, let's do it one like that, one pound. LB is the abbreviation for pound. And then 2,000 pounds is equal to one time. Hopefully I haven't screwed up any of these. It's been a while since I've done it and I just kind of briefly glanced at it. Um, so again, you know, uh, because there's only three of them, it'll probably be a lot more straightforward on this one. Uh, you might have something like, you know, you have 80 ounces equals how many pounds? And you'll just divide 80 by 16. So 80 divided by 16, uh, 16 is gonna go into 80. Oh, it goes in perfectly five times. Five times six is 30, five times one is uh, five, plus three is eight. So that's gonna be five pounds. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, I don't think that you'll ever have it, but you could have something crazy possibly, like, you know, one ton equals how many ounces? If you have something like this, of course, the first thing you have to do is say, okay, well, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. And then 2,000 pounds times 16, because every pound is worth 16 ounces, is going to be, oops, 16 times 2 is 32,000 ounces. All right. So hopefully uh, this is fairly straightforward. Um, as always, feel free to uh, send me a message either through Seesaw, email, YouTube, whatever works. Um, if any of this is confusing, this is the first three lessons, of course. So uh, this hopefully will keep you busy. Um, I hate to say it, but uh, honestly, if you need to check your work, you can always go on to Google and just say, you know, uh, basically type in 16 ounces equals pounds and Google will spit out the conversion for you. Uh, please don't do that to solve all of the problems. Um, that doesn't help you at all. It actually is good for you to think your way through these problems. But if you want to check your answers afterwards, uh, you of course may do that that way. Um, so yeah, so that's lessons 10.1, uh, 10.2, 10 10.3. 10 and uh, hopefully it'll go fairly easy for you. Um, if not, then let me know and I will do whatever I can to help you guys. Have a good day.